so I'm in the small town of Imuris, Mexico, working on a fundraising video for an orphanage. I'm on the highway, shooting video from the driver's seat, don't try this at home, and I'm about to make a U-turn and get pulled over by the police. Now if you listen carefully, you'll hear the siren and you'll hear my reaction to it. Okay, here it is, here it is, listen. Oh, fuck. So, they asked me to accompany them down to the station, but it was not for the traffic violation, but rather there had been a kidnapping and murder of a youth in nearby Nogales recently, and so the community and the police were on high alert because of that. It actually made me feel kind of good that they were actually doing their jobs instead of pulling me over and hitting me up for a bribe. For those of you who have followed my adventures in the past, you know this is certainly not my first brush with Latin American law enforcement. I've gotten pretty deeply into Latin American culture. I really love it. On this particular trip, I came across some, something that I had not really experienced so deeply, and that was this concept of Santa Muerte, Father Death, or the Angel of Death. There's all these shrines along the highway from Nogales down south, which are devoted to the Grim Reaper. Like, it used to be, I'm sure that these used to be Christian or Catholic shrines and altars, but now they've been taken over by these people devoted to, to Santa Muerte. Look at this. See, that beer is full. That's a full beer. You know they gotta be serious if they're leaving a full beer there. I'm sure it's kind of, seems kind of dark and creepy to some people, even offensive to some religious people, but to me it's fascinating. To me, the Grim Reaper is like, yeah, we're all going to die. So what are you going to do with this most precious moment of now? So it happened to be Semana Santa Holy Week, party time in Mexico, and we were just north of the town of Magdalena, which is a has some religious significance. It's the home of the relics of Padre Quino, an explorer and missionary. No, these are not his bones. This is part of a carnival that's part of Semana Santa. Just south of the town of Magdalena is the town of Santana. About five years ago, I had quite a little adventure there. I even did a, a YouTube video called Stranded in Santana. Needless to say, I have some history there and I have a couple of good buddies. And being party time, it's not a party until you got some lime for your beer. And take it from me, <laughs> trust me on this one, the Grim Reaper won't be seeing any of these beers. Yeah. So I had a blast with my pals in Santana and the trip downtown to the police station was just all part of the adventure. But the real fun came with my littler friends at the orphanage in Imuris the Casa de, Le Casa de Elizabeth Orphanage. We're working on a, a fundraising Indiegogo campaign that's going to start on May the 10th. We're going to put the fun into fundraising. We we'll hope you join us as one of our pre-launch partners. Thank you for watching. <laughs>